Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 12 of the e-commerce app playlist. In this video, we will start with a shopping activity and we will implement this bottom navigation which has four fragments. So in this video, we will be creating these fragments and we will create the navigraph and the menu. Then we will merge the bottom navigation with the navigraph using navigation component. So let's actually get started. And before anything, you need to download the icons that need it for this video. So we have these four icons at the bottom for the navigation view. So make sure to download them from the link in the description. And I also forgot to add some dependencies. Also from the description, copy these dependencies and paste them and these for a navigation component. So after you paste them, click on sync now. That actually it. Now we can start. And first thing I want to do is to create four layouts. So the first one is a fragment home. We also need fragment search. One more fragment cart. And finally, for the profile so fragment profile and now inside the fragments package right click and create a new package but we're gonna create it inside the fragments package not inside the login and register package so remove that and in here this is gonna be for the shopping activity so this package has all the fragments for the shopping activity now let's create four fragments in here, I'm gonna select class, and the first one is home fragment, extend from a fragment, and pass the layout in here. So, fragment home, uh, copy this one, paste it this time for search, change the layout for search, uh, layout fragment search paste it one more time for cart fragment this one fragment cart and finally for the profile fragment okay now let's go ahead and create our navigraph we need to create a navigraph for the shopping activity so inside the navigation file new and navigation source file in here we're gonna call it shopping graph and create it now let's add the four fragments in here first home fragment we also need a search fragment card fragment and profile fragment we don't need to initiate links between them navigation component will handle the navigations between them using the nav controller Okay, now these are our fragments. If you want to show the preview for these, you can go to split, you can add the layout attribute in here. This is for the home. This is for search fragment. This one for cart. Oops, in here, layout cart. And this one for the profile fragment. Okay, they are empty of course, they don't have anything to show. Now let's go and create a menu for the bottom navigation. So inside the rest file, right click and Android resource file. Now let's create a menu and call this bottom navigation menu. Create that menu and this menu is going to have four items. So item number one is Let's add the title is home and let's add an icon which is home and finally we're gonna add an ID and that ID you're gonna get it from the navigraph so let me hide this let me go to design and click on the home fragment and copy the ID in here and paste it in here it must be the same ID so letter or navigation component knows how to navigate between these items and now item number two for the search fragment icon is search and ID gonna copy it from the navigraph 
one more item I'm gonna copy this so this one of four cart and I'm gonna copy the ID again finally for the profile fragment and just gonna change the ID to profile okay that is it for this menu now let's close all of these tabs and I'm gonna go to the main or to the shopping activity open the XML file and now it's empty so let's start designing first we're gonna have the nav host which is gonna be just a simple fragment that's gonna take match parent and zero db and now let's add an id and uh, this id is shopping host uh, fragment we also need to add some attributes so the first attribute is app nav graph and here we're gonna pass the nav graph navigation shopping graph we also need to add something called name so android name and this is android x dot navigation dot fragment dot uh, nav host fragment um, this name is required to make the fragment as a host fragment now we're gonna add one more attribute that called a default nav host so default nav host and make this true okay arrange that a little bit and now let's add the constraints so start to the start with the parent end to the end of the parent top to the top of the parent and that's it for this fragment now let's create the bottom navigation so bottom navigation view gonna take match parent for the width 70 db for the height uh the menu so let's give it the menu as you can see here we have a letter preview we want to hide the label so to hide that there's an attribute called um label visibility mode this one i'm gonna make it unlabeled we're gonna change the background to navigation background we're gonna cancel the elevation so add elevation 0 db we're gonna add some padding so padding or item padding top 10 db also item padding bottom 10 db we also can add item ripple color which is the color of the effect when we click on the icon so this is gonna be G, G white uh, what we can also add uh, item icon tint so this will be you can get it from drawable bottom nav item background I don't know why it's not suggesting me that but basically I have prepared this drawable for you so what this does is it will check if the icon is selected or is checked then it will make the color dark blue and if it's not selected then the color will be uh, blue gray so as you can see here because uh, the home item is auto selected then it's a blue it's dark blue and the other icons are not selected then their color is white um we can also add an id for this and let's call this bottom navigation and finally let's add the constraints start start bot the parent end end parent and bottom bottom parent arrange that and now we're gonna add one more constraint with this fragment so bottom uh, to the top of this bottom navigation and that's actually it for this design at least for now now let's go to now if we launch this app we're supposed to see the navigation the bottom navigation 
let's see that this is the original app let's wait for our app um, and as you can see here is the bottom navigation but now the navigations uh, don't work so we need to add some Kotlin code let's go to the shopping activity and let's quickly set up view binding so binding by lazy at shopping binding dot inflate there's the layout inflator and in here we're gonna pass binding dot root now we're gonna get the nav controller so nav controller and by the way the nav controller is the component that responsible to navigate between the fragments control the back stack of the fragments and all of those operations so the nav controller will handle all of that so now to get that you can use find nav controller and in here you're gonna pass the id sorry the id of the nav host which is called shopping host fragment and finally you can use binding dot bottom navigation dot setup with nav controller then we can pass the nav controller and that's actually it let's run the app again okay as you can see everything just works so i don't want to make this video longer in the next video we will start with the home fragment and that fragment is gonna have a tab layout so there are a lot of works inside the home fragment which is gonna be in the next video thank you so much for watching hope you benefit from my videos don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to receive more android content and hope you have a great day catch you in the next video